All right, so if you're like me and you are now blocked from watching YouTube because you're running an ad block program or plugin into your browser, there are two solutions. One is kind of finicky, the other one is kind of bulletproof because you are using a open source client. But let's get down to business. So here's Firefox and I wanna show you that I'm running the uh, latest Firefox version 118. It's a flat pack version for those on Linux. And also I am running the latest version of uBlock Origin. I stated up here with a shit ton of plugins for YouTube because YouTube is just absolutely annoying these days. So here it is. Uh, I'm going to refresh this so you can see that I'm blocked on all four of these tabs. I just opened up four random videos. Number one, go to the URL at the very top. This is universal. And what you're going to do is everything after youtube.com slash and before the video ID. The video ID is always after the equal sign. You're going to want to erase that. Okay. And type in embed. This is what websites use to embed YouTube videos onto their sites. I don't think that they are able to block this just yet. Now, like I said, this is finicky. So let's hit enter here. And yes, it did work. So as you can see, hit play. Yeah, I, I just signed up. I'm, I'm really excited. Finish setting up your profile? Yeah. Okay, so that's that. Now, the only drawback is that we're not used to watching videos like this. We're used to watching videos like this. Default version, the default view, with the more videos, suggested videos on the right. In this way, you're going to watch a really big version of the video with the suggested videos on the very bottom. It's the same experience. You just, you're just going to have to get used to it, whether you like it or not. That's just the way uh, we're being dealt with right now. Okay. The second way, as you can see, look, I'm blocked there. Just change. Remember, after youtube.com slash, you're going to want to type in embed backslash and then the video ID after. Okay. The second version is very much bulletproof and it's open source and it's available for all major operating systems. And that is FreeTube. Just go to freetube.io. This is not sponsored anyway. And no, this is not malware as some Redditors might suggest. You go to download and you'll have a plethora of options. Windows, Mac OS, and your different flavors of Linux. They have four different versions, Ubuntu, Arch, Fedora, which I'm on, I can use a .rpm file, but I chose, excuse me, Flathub. I like running flat packs, and that'll take you to flathub.org and to their product page right here. And those of you who use flat packs, you already know this process. I'm not going to cover that here, but I'm just going to tell you that I already have it installed, and that is this right here. Okay. Now I'm a little bit ahead of myself, but go to the about if you have any questions. You can see that their source code is open source and it'll take you right to their GitHub page. Another thing too, I'm actually going to go back to that, is that they kind of know what's going on in terms of privacy. Now, FreeTube, they pride themselves as a private YouTube client, okay? Third party open source client. And like I said, you know, you can tell they kind of know what's going on. Kind of red pilled if you ask me they're using proton they're using mastodon instead of twitter and matrix instead of discord which is known to be a keylogger and then you can donate via btc or monero if you so choose to now two things here you go to your settings and you're only going to click on two for now just to get you started go to the subscription settings and this is off by default i just have it checked on for good measure okay and then you go to your data settings. And in this window, it's going to pop up and tell you, hey, how do I import my subscriptions? It's very simple, right? You click on that, opens up your browser, and it takes you to the exact process of how to do this through Google Takeout. And for those of you who use Android and use New Pipe, you already know this process. It's very simple. I'm not going to go through the entire process, but I'm going to show you where it's at. When you go to YouTube and you're logged in, just click on your icon, top right hand corner, click on manage YouTube account, Google account, data and privacy, and then 
you follow the steps as it tells you on how to do it here, okay? Once you do that and you downloaded that zip file, which I'll show you, which I have right here, and I'm going to do that in real time. As you can see now, you can see the trending tab, and it this looks just like YouTube. So it's basically a, a carbon copy. So you have trending, you have most popular, and remember, this user here is just the default. I'm not even logged in. What it's doing, it's just fetching your data through your subscription file that spits it out as a .csv, okay? That's basically what YouTube uh, Google Takeout is doing, all right? So you go to your settings, like I said before, subscription, check that off, and then go to data, and then go to import subscriptions, okay? I don't have it extracted yet, so let's open up my, um, my zip file, just right click, extract, boom, there it is, okay? What I'm gonna do, double click on this, double click on takeout, YouTube and YouTube music, subscription, and there it is. I'm gonna cut this and take it back to uh, downloads, paste that here, delete this. That's just how I do things. Boom, import subscriptions, boom, there it is. Double click, it's done, it's gonna fetch, there it is, you just saw that, okay? Now, if you go to subscriptions, you see that? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, as an example, uh, one of my videos here, you don't get that. A couple of weeks ago, Network Chuck posted. And this is a, an amazing uh, player. I already have it set up within my settings. You can go in there and there's a plethora of settings that you can choose. General, themes, player settings, uh, download settings if you want to download the videos, uh, privacy settings if you want to delete everything. Remember, I'm still not logged in. It's just fetching my .csv file. You have some experimental settings and also has sponsored block if you, if you want to use that, okay? But to go back to my subscriptions, there it is. Uh, two versions, one is browser-based, the other one is client-based. Bob's your uncle, peace.